Hello, Candice, how are you? Hi, James, I'm doing well, how are you? Excellent, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me this morning, I appreciate it. Pleasure's all ours. You know, according to AAA, approximately 40 million people travel 50 miles or more each year during Thanksgiving weekend. What can travelers do now to prepare their vehicles for travel during the holiday weekend and winter months? Oh, Candace, you're going to hate this. Can we please start this again? No problem. Okay. <laughs> We've got uh, something in the control room they need to work on. Okay, no problem. Okay, we're, we're good now, Candace. Sorry. Okay. You know, according to AAA, approximately 40 million people travel 50 miles or more each year during Thanksgiving weekend. What can travelers do now to prepare their vehicle for travel during the holiday weekend and winter months? Well, also according to AAA, the two biggest reasons they get calls are for two easy product, things that we can check on on ourselves in the driveway before you start the long drive. The first one is the tires. These are your contact patch. These are your lifeline, if you will, with the road. So if the tire pressure is not smart or not good, then you're going to be uh, running a risk of uh, losing contact as well as uh, impacting your fuel efficiency. So get out your owner's manual, make sure you got the tire pressure to the right uh, level. Also, test them when they're cold, not when they're hot. When they're warm, uh, that it can overinflate the, the readings, and that's gonna be wrong. Also, check, check the tread depth. If you know that you've been needing to buy tires for some time, the last time to uh, kind of test that is when you've got a car full of friends and family out uh, during the holidays. Uh, the second thing to check is the batteries, and I'm here with my friend Jeff from uh, Chevrolet Certified Service. He says on the battery, it's real simple. Just look at the two terminals. If you see a lot of corrosion or, or uh, dirt uh, accumulated there, then take it in for servicing. And as Jeff's showing you here, they can test that battery to make sure that it has enough juice to put out. You know, during the winter time, it requires more power to start the car because of the colder temperatures. So uh, a pretty small investment in a new battery compared to being stuck at the side of the road. Another great important thing to check, and also very simple, is the windshield wipers. Now, Jeff, why is that? What, what about the wipers should I be checking in on? You just want to check the blade and make sure it's not dry or cracked. If it is dry or cracked, it will not create uh, the proper seal along your windshield. That's a great point. I mean, let's be honest. It's a simple thing, and when you get in the first rainstorm and you turn these things on, and they're just making a big smear, well, that's a, a safety issue as well. And how does the sudden onset of colder weather affect our car's performance? Uh, well, two ways. Number one, we suggest keeping uh, more than a full, or sorry, more than a half a tank of gas, preferably full, in the car as much as possible. Because uh, if there's a lot of air space in the gas tank, that can create condensation, which is of course going to uh, inject water into the fuel system. That's no good. Secondly, is just giving your car a chance to warm up. Nothing makes me crazier than to be uh, somewhere in a cold day in a parking lot, see, see somebody start the car, and drive right off immediately you got to give the engine some time to get the oil flowing around. You're protecting your own pocketbook if you do that. Uh, and the best way to know when the right time is to go is when you start to feel warm air coming through the uh, heater vent, then you know that the engine's warm. So uh, it's an easy thing to save you a lot of trouble down the road. And is there anything else we need to do before taking a long trip? Well, I think a, a little uh, preparation can really help you out. If you're going to be doing some driving at nighttime, I suggest bringing along a flashlight and some extra batteries. It doesn't take up a lot of space and can be really helpful and, and uh, necessary if you get stuck uh, along the side of the road. If you also get stuck, some water for uh, yourself and your passengers. And let's be honest, a first aid kit and emergency kit and tools, uh, these are something we should always have in the car with us. But if you're going out uh, for the holidays with friends and family, let's be sure to do that now. Talking about uh, people in the car, something I think is interesting is bring along some extra medication. Uh, let's say somebody on, on board has a requirement for some, and if you get stuck, all of a sudden uh, you're going to have more than a, a mechanical problem, you're going to have a medical problem as well. Uh, also some extra food, uh, non-perishable food can always be in your car, like some uh, granola bars or trail mix. And lastly, and we learned this from the big uh, hurricane there in New York, New Jersey area, is your cell phone. Uh, so make sure you bring along your uh, car cell phone charger because the last thing you want to see is the sun start to set while the battery in your cell phone slowly dies. Well, thank you so much. Where can we go for more information? That's easy. Go to mycertifiedservice.com or to gm.com. Got lots of information there. Make sure we all drive safe and sane this holiday season. Well, thank you, Jeff. Thank you, James. We appreciate it. Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you. Bye-bye.